Hello Church, I'm Tori Kurtz, a member of North Hills Community Mission Board and this year's coordinator for Operation Christmas Child. There is just nothing better than seeing the face of a child light up with joy and excitement at Christmas time. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. In the summer of 1993, Franklin Graham received a phone call from a man in England asking if Franklin's ministry, Samaritan's Purse, could help by packing shoeboxes for children. These would be Christmas gifts for the children in war-torn Bosnia for that year. After some thought, Franklin contacted a colleague in ministry for help, and within weeks, 11,000 stuffed shoeboxes filled the church hallways at Calvary Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. Since that first Christmas in 1993, over 178 million children have received a Christmas shoebox through Operation Christmas Child. These shoebox gifts are intended to be a tangible expression of God's love, to bring joy and peace in Jesus' name around the world. In addition to each shoebox received, children receive literature and an invitation to follow up discipleship course titled The Greatest Journey. This 12-week program allows churches to lead children to Christ and help the decision to accept Jesus as their Savior. And in response to this discipleship, many are praying for it and sharing their faith with their families and friends. This fulfills the Great Commission from Matthew 28, 19. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. In a few moments, you will see the story on Bryce, who received a shoebox at age four. Through his story, we can see the fulfillment from Proverbs 22, 6. Start children off the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. But first, let me tell you about how you can participate. There are three opportunities. On August 23rd, members of the Mission Board will be outside the church from noon to 2 and 6 to 8 p.m., collecting any hygiene items, toys, or school supplies you may wish to drop off and donate. Simply swing by, say hello, and drop off your contribution. This can be done by any individual who wants to participate, but not pack a whole box. A great family project would be to stop by and pick up a wrapped shoebox that day. Make the decision what age and gender child you want to give your gift to, then use the opportunity to fill the box, write that child an encouraging note, or draw a picture, and pray for that child that who will receive your box. These boxes would need to be completed and returned to the church by September 27th. If going out for supplies right now is not your preference, you can donate a box online or drop off $25 to NHCBC, notation OOC on the memo line of your check, and we will pack a box for you. Additionally, you can add a personal note and pray for the child who will receive your box this fall. Through giving a simple, joyous gift to a child, you may be the catalyst in changing that child's life through the power of the Holy Spirit. Imagine how God can work when we let ourselves and our resources be used by Him. If you have any questions regarding this ministry or the contents for these boxes, please contact myself, the church office, or any member of the mission board. Enjoy Bryce's story, and thanks for helping to spread the word of God to those who haven't heard the good news. My name is Bryce Pablo. I'm from Philippines in a small town called Sanchez Mira. When I was four years old, I received a shoe box. When I opened my box, I was so happy because I saw toy cars, stuffed toys, toothbrush, and some books. My dog's name is Poppy. My puppy follows me wherever I go. My mother encouraged me to go to church to learn more about God. When I was seven years old, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I'm so amazed with what God is doing. I saw the transformation of my son. Whenever he comes home, I see him reading the Bible. I shared the gospel to my parents and also to my brothers, and they accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior too. Because of that shoebox, God used me, and now I am discipling other children like me. 
We do not know God before. Our life was just full of traditions. I'm so grateful for the one who packed the shoebox that changed our life as a whole family.